Hello, and welcome to the uh, Harry Potter tour with my co-presenter here, Jelena. Here hello. we, hello, hello, yes. Hello. Here we are in the Great Hall, which was used in the actual Harry Potter films. Tommy, yes. would you like to know an interesting fact about this? Oh, yes, go ahead, yes. The floor is actually made of real stone. Really? Yes, it if, feels you, like if it. you stomp, you can feel it. It feels like it. It does feel like it does. real stone. It does. And if we turn around here, we have all the costumes of the Harry Potter cast here. Yes. From yes. All the way from... From Dumbledore. <laughs> from Dumbledore. From Dumbledore to, to... Hagrid. Hagrid, yes. Yes, we do. So we would like to ask you guys to join us on the tour here. Yes. And we're going to uh, give you a nice little guided tour. Yes. And it'll, okay. it, it will be amazing. And now we come to behind the scenes bits, including producers, screenwriters and directors. I think this uh, part is quite interesting, Jalila, because it shows you all the talent behind the actual film. Yes, as they said at the beginning, Harry, Hermione and Ron are only the front men of the film. It would not be possible if it wasn't for all of these people, such as Steve Klanger, Steve Close. Michael Goldberg, and of course our producers, David Heyman, David Barron, J.K. Rowling, of course, Chris Columbus, not the one that invaded America and raped all the Native Americans. And Mark Radcliffe. Okay, fair. Um, here we have the model of the Great Hall we've just been in. Um, before they built the actual sets, they would have to build a model like this to kind of get the image right and the and model as we right. Can see, it did stand the test of time itself. It did. It's it did. still standing today. It's still standing today, as we just recently saw. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. And here we can see all the makeup and hair that is being used. As you can tell, it's a lot more than the average teenage girl. Uh, yeah, I think so. I haven't really experienced that in my life, Jalila. Well, you can if you want to. Screw gender roles. You can wear makeup as much as you like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're standing in front of the, the ones here. These are all handmade by the, um, what they're called? Professional wand makers. Yes. They were actually touched by the actors that we see, know and love. Yes, they are absolutely amazing works of they're art. They're beautiful. And you can see at the top the elder wand. The elder wand, which is the wand. Some the, of them. the wand. Yeah. yeah. The wand. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Let's go. We're standing in front of the Gryffindor common room where Ron... Hermione Harry and his Harry homeboys would chill. Would chill out. Well, and girls as well. Yes. Of course. It is an ama amazing set. It's beautiful. It's There's got the talking pictures, the artwork, the chairs. It's where they'll celebrate. The relax. outfits. It's so cool. It's just all around brilliant. It's absolutely amazing balls. We are in front of the potion room here. We are in front of the potion room where Harry, Hermione and Ron were taught by Severus Snape. It's pretty amazing to be honest. And as you can see, some of the magic is still alive today yes. by the moving patient. Look at this. Yeah. The, um, the prop crew had to go to like many, many different shops to try and find props such as these because they are all so weird and wonderful in, their, in like, many ways. And it took, I think it took something to like six months to find all these props. But yeah. Yes, it is. Cool couple of facts there for you. We are standing in front of the portraits that all the artists and prop makers had to paint, to ha like hand paint all these portraits. They are so detailed As in so many ways. As you can see, it's almost better than Picasso and the other one put together, in my personal opinion. And the framework itself is absolutely beautiful. There's not really much more you can ask for when it comes to art. And when they um, when they did all the, the the moving pictures, they had to screen screen stuff stuff like this. Yeah, they had to screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, All the moving pic pictures yeah. in the movie were yeah, yeah. done like this. So yeah, portraits. It's pretty thick. Awesome. Art. We're standing in front of all the green screen work. Here, here we have all the fake shit that makes you want to be in Hogwarts. Yeah. Basically, we've got the the thing that goes into the mine. What's that called? Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. We've got Hagrid's motorbike. Yeah. We've got all the broomsticks. Yeah, broomsticks. And they all they did this by obviously on on a mount like this in front of a green and they just rode it with a bit of wind in their face and it, 
it works really well and it looks amazing in the movie so yeah We are now approaching platform line and three quarters. No, I've room. actually got goosebumps. I don't even know. We've got ourselves a nice cup of butter beer. So we're just going to try it. It's £7 pretty much. Yes, it was. But uh, cheers anyway. Just don't. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bubbly. Right. Jelena, we are joined here by Jamie Martin, the, the, Jamie one, and Martin. the yeah. one and only Jamie, Jamie Martin. Two weeks on Harry Potter and the yes. Philosopher's Stone. Do you have anything to say about that before to be we back, continue? Jamie. I'm happy, but he's over there. Oh, he's over, over oh, there. Oh, so okay, right. but uh, what do you have to say about your experience? What, here or? Here. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Oh, cool. Standing behind, standing behind us. Standing behind us is the night bus from Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban, which Jamie didn't work on. No, unfortunately, no, unfortunately not. He uh, a bit of a again. mental breakdown. Here we are on the Hogwarts Bridge. I don't know if that's called or not. Whatever. I have no clue what it's called, Tommy. If I'm honest. <laughs> but this film, no, sorry, this is not a film. This bridge was featured in all the films, especially the the two last ones. The Deathly Hallows Part, part one, one and, and two. two. Yes, Thomas, that is correct. Yeah, that's what I've got to say. But yes, it's brilliant. Very nice piece of nifty artwork here. But uh, yes, very, very nice indeed. So we might get a bit excited, so we're kind of just exploring, we're exploring together. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's pack her up. So I've got this tiling on the floor. Is, 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 this, is this real? I don't know if it's real, but I love it. Regardless. We've got the Daily Prophet Daily door to Prophet. our left. There we go. There's that. That's wicked. Oi, Gringotts. Oh, Gringotts. Yeah, that's the best. There's, there's Ron. <laughs> Here, we're surrounded by all of the the scales and diagrams of all the I don't know, like props buildings and buildings and what in, well, what went into exterior, the film, like exterior. including the, the the main hall, Diagon Alley, the um, the, the magic statue thing, <laughs> and yeah, no, it's unbelievable. Sure, the amount of matter. work that they went into is unbelievable. That is bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant it was.
um, Hogwarts school. This is what they used for the the long shots of the school for I don't know the broomsticks flying over it and stuff. And it's just it's it's actually quite amazing how much detail it's on it. And uh, yeah, I was a bit mind blown when I walked into the room to be honest. But yeah, it's amazing.